Hi, I'm Kinkas, and I'm a synth DIY guy. Today we're taking a look at the VB Modular Overfolder Rev 2 kit. I've done a few videos on the Rev 1 already. Links are in the description, do check them out as well. It's the same module, except that it's now a skip-friendly PCB sandwich, and a few caps were added to reduce noise. Start by soldering all the diodes, minding their polarities and resistors. then the IC sockets, then the capacitors, minding the polarity on the two electrolytic caps, and the transistors, then the headers. The headers get soldered on the back of each PCB, so the sides with no silkscreen oppose each other, and the mounting screw holes line up. Solder on the resistors on the control board, place but don't solder any of the pots or jacks until after you've secured them to the panel. The pots are slightly shorter than the jacks, so they get lifted slightly from the PCB, which is normal. Snap the ICs onto their sockets, attach both boards together, and that's it! Two hex spacers and eight M3 screws are included in the kit. Four screws are for securing the boards together with the spacers, and the other four are for mounting the module on your rack. Hey, so let's check out the Rev2 Overfolder in action. This is the first one ever built. You can call it a prototype, but it's not really a prototype. It's the same one that you will get with your kit. This will be a really simple demo because I already did a long demo of the original Overfolder Rev1, which is basically the same thing. It's just a couple of caps difference and the fact that this one is skiff friendly. So it's a PCB sandwich rather than a perpendicular PCB in there. So let's start by listening to a sine wave, which I can get out of my multi LFO in oscillator mode with the symmetry in the center. So we'll take out the output here and we'll stick it in the overfolder input and we'll send the overfolder output to one of my VCAs here, one of my Hexmix VCAs. There we go. That's the fold setting. Here's the overfold setting. And here's the symmetry. Nice. Working perfectly. And if I turn both fold and over down, you get silence dead silence right there and I can use this sort of as a VCA for example I can send uh, the rampage one, one of the sides of the rampage to the fold setting here and if I by triggering an envelope it's basically acting as both a folder and a VCA because when the envelope closes you get silence again so I can set that to repeat And then I can create a, an LFO with the other side of the rampage and modulate another parameter of the overfolder, like the over. Pretty cool. Or the symmetry setting. Let's give this give this oscillator a sequence so it's more interesting. And now we're instead of cycling the rampage, we're gonna trigger it from the square wave of the sequencer. 
There you go. So you can actually save yourself a VCA if you use it like this. of different sounds you can get out of this module. Lots of fun. Now I'm modulating the over setting with the envelope generator. Try it with a triangle wave too. There you go. Back to the sign. Cosine. Change the symmetry. And here's some square wave, I mean saw wave, sorry. Saw sounds really good folded on this too. Inverted saw. So that's it for the quick demo of the Overfolder Rev 2. They're already available at Thonk and at other stores really soon as well. So have fun building this thing and have fun making noise with it. See you later!